This breaking news edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by KingCast.net. I should also be up, I mean, obviously I've got uh, some breaking news for you, but I want to make sure you understand up front that this uh, video was commissioned by KingCast.net and is also a story about KingCast.net. Um, and what has happened is uh, Chris King hired me to go down to uh, Nashua on Wednesday and videotape this you know, possibly precedent-setting hearing regarding the rights of bloggers. King has been repeatedly kicked out of or banned from Kelly Ayotte events. Ayotte is a big government Republican running for Senate, a U.S. Senate, in New Hampshire, and he can't seem to get into her events anymore. I guess they, I don't, I, I don't know what all their reasons were for uh, trying to keep him out. But anyway, what the, the news that's breaking today is that this trial or a hearing, which was scheduled to happen on Wednesday as to whether he could start attending these events again, um, has been canceled. Um, you know, uh, and it was uh, uh, sent to it's been it's been sent to federal court. Uh, date currently unknown. Now, King's concern is that if he's in federal court, he uh, cannot bring a camera in. And he wonders if that may be the reason why these folks have canceled the hearing. Now, that's a, it's the kind of thing that's of interest to average liberty folk. Um, what's nice about this situation, though, is that it does tend to, you know, to create a bridge between the liberty folk in New Hampshire and the civil rights community in New Hampshire, of which Chris King may be uh, the most vocal representative. Anyway, um, trying to think what else is going to happen. I, you know, when, when we get a date on this federal hearing, then I will want to go if I'm able, if I'm in town. Um, and the other thing, I guess that's worth, that's worth uh, drawing attention to, is I, you should probably just go to uh, King's website at uh, kingcast.net, where you'll see an update of the situation and more details as to, you know, as to what's going on. Um, but, you know, my question always would be, you know, for, for these Republicans having these meetings, they want to ban people from it. I mean, if they're going to ban Chris King, are they going to ban me? Uh, if they're going to ban me, are they going to ban Grant Bossy, uh, who is a conservative blogger uh, that goes to a lot of these kinds of things? Where are they going to draw the line? I, I do think that in theory, uh, a campaign, which is using maybe voluntarily raised funds to rent a private venue, uh, does have the right to let people in and out that it wants, but there's a political question. Is it politically wise for them to be picking and choosing which journalists they can let in, uh, even if some of those journalists are representing very small organizations? Should they really be banning them? They've definitely, by doing this, made Chris King bigger than he would have been uh, if they had just left him alone. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all I can think of to tell you, uh, if you look at the video description for this clip, I will try to post a link that gives you more updated information, and I look forward to being able to report from the scene of one or more hearings that may occur, uh, hearings that I don't think should be in federal court. You know, what are the feds, what are they, what, why do they have to intervene in this spat between New Hampshireites? Uh, anyway, uh, this edition of the Rhythm Report, again, Brought to you by KingCast.net, uh, the voice of Christopher King documenting the civil rights struggle in New Hampshire.